हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम वैशाली जगताप असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ डी आर के कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स कोलहापुर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स वी विल लर्न अ न्यू टॉपिक कोऑपरेटिव एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड ऑडिट टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन वेरियस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव डेवलपमेंट टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट कोऑपरेटिव एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड ऑडिट पार्ट जनरली वी ऑल नो दैट what administration and audit means in general administration means the proper management of all resources and utilities and do efficient functioning in organization also audit means a systematic examination of all financial entries of business audit reflects the exact situation of business now we will look at the definition of audit The Bombay Act of 1925 defines audit does the valuation of assets and liabilities in the society and verifies cash balance and securities. Cooperative audit is an application of general principle of auditing the accounts of cooperative society. In cooperative society, audit report is powerful tool in the hands of its me- member for exercising effective control on the democratic management as well as professional and technical staff of society in today view we say that there are many failures of cooperatives the main reason behind the major of cooperatives is irregularities in doing the regular audits hence the government of india has recognized the importance of timely audit of cooperatives so government has made law for the regular auditing of cooperatives now we will see the objective of cooperative audit first is to check the profit and loss account and the balance sheet are properly done and the whether represent a correct financial feature second is to detect the real position of entity and any fraud or error in the balance sheet third is it ascertains whether the society carries business really on the cooperative lines last is it find out error of principle errors of wrong calculation overall objects of co- audit is to examine each and every transaction and bear true picture now we will move forward to look at the types of audit we can see the types given by international labor organization first is a financial audit which is also called as basic audit and second is method audit in the first types there is general examination of transaction and auditor look at the truthfulness of the transactions it doesn't examine the transaction thoroughly second type is method audit this type of audit examine the procedural and administrative arrangements it is very much useful to check complicated activities like a consumer service industrial production manpower utilization and other aspects now we will look at the generalized types of audit external audit performance audit in accordance with the laws and rules specified internal audit is performed to improve the organization and also statutory audit is an examination of entities financial record in accordance with the requirement of government agency here the financial reports and financial report process also we all know about the tax audit where tax officer access the tax return last is special audit which is done to audit same specific area in the business now we will move on to our next slide we will look at the advantage of audit 
First is it helps to keep the accounts regular and up to date and prevents fraud. Second is it helps to defect correct true state of affairs of the cooperative society. Third is it ensures the institutions to raise loans on the authenticity of accounts. Fourth is efficient audit proves an effective safeguard to depositors, the creditors, publishing the cooperative movement, then to place it on sound footing. One should know that defective auditing actually records the failures of cooperatives. Thank you for watching the video. We will meet again with the new topic. I request all of you to stay home and stay safe. Thank you again.